decision not to prosecute Hillary Clinton for mishandling classified information, causing a split inside the agency. An insider telling Fox News that career agents and investigators believed without exception that Mrs. Clinton should have faced charges. And then they say they were shocked when they heard these words from James Comey early July. In looking back at our investigations into the mishandling or removal of classified information, we cannot find a case that would support bringing criminal charges on these facts. We are expressing to justice our view that no charges are appropriate in this case. Peter Schweizer, author of Clinton Cash and also executive producer of the documentary based on that book. And Peter, good morning to you and welcome back here. C can you match the reporting from um, our folks here at Fox about those who are dismayed on the inside of the FBI? Uh, yes. Uh, in fact, I was up in Washington, D.C. about 10 days ago um, doing some business and uh, talked to people that had been in law enforcement at the federal level and also prosecutors who said the same thing. They did not know of a current FBI agent who was familiar with the case who did not think that Hillary Clinton should face, face legal jeopardy because of her actions in the email case. Here's the quote. Safe to say the vast majority felt she should be prosecuted. Here's another one, unanimous that we all thought her security clearance should have been yanked. So they hear these words from Comey and says, basically the case is closed, Peter. Yeah, that, that's the case uh, that, that, that Comey makes. I think what a lot of agents are frustrated about is they believe in the basically the old FBI, that they were going to take on whoever they needed to take on if they were powerful individuals um, or you know ordinary Americans who had violated the law. And this kind of goes to the heart of the credibility of the FBI. If they're going to have different legal standards for people in positions of authority and power like Hillary Clinton, then ordinary Americans who are being prosecuted, by the way, you have the guy out in California who was taking pictures inside the submarine uh, to show family members who's facing legal prosecution um, under the same statute uh, of Hillary Clinton, sharing classified information. It's, it's just uh, amazing. Yeah, and they may have been disgruntled, but they lost, Peter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, that's right? that's exactly right. What's 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 interesting about um, uh, you know the emails that have been coming out, Bill, is we now know first of all that the Clinton team, uh, these hacked emails, that the Clinton team uh, completely underestimated uh, the importance of this story. They basically poo-pooed it in early 2015, and then you have these emails where they're talking about what are we going to release, what are we not going to release, uh, which was in basically in complete defiance of the Freedom of Information. Information Act requests that have been filed and also the action on Capitol Hill that was asking for Hillary Clinton's team to turn over right. all their emails. Now, now it's, context it's shocking. on that timeline is all in the month of March of 2015. At the end of the month is when you had the server wiped clean. At the beginning of the month, you find the following email such as this. Philip Raines works on Hillary Clinton's team, an aide to her. Rather than going around and around on how to release the 55,000, let's just be for what's happening and use this as the excuse. Because we can say even if state has equities, not providing them, meaning the emails, would put her in legal jeopardy. Or we say happy for them to have it, happy for the public to read them. As soon as state is comfortable, let's somehow take advantage of this, end quote. The point in all this is they were trying to figure out how they could paint this in the best light possible. And remember, that was an email that was written on the 4th of March of that month, 2015. Within four weeks, the server was wiped clean and all the emails were gone. That's right. Uh, you know, the interesting question in this bill, of course, is uh, these emails were obtained through a hack, obviously, but the information is there. It has not been challenged. The question is, does this reopen a legal case does it? Uh, against either Hillary Clinton? Uh, you know, I'm not an attorney, but I would say they need to look at this because it clearly goes to this question of you get just a little bit later this, this congressional subpoena requesting these records, and, and they're using bleach bit basically to, uh, to, to wipe this clean. This certainly shows the intentionality uh, that the FBI director claimed he didn't have uh, at, at the time. Peter, thank you. Peter Schweitzer, a lot to go through on this. Thanks again out of Tallahassee today. Thank you, Peter. When he passed. And intent is the question. That's what Comey said he didn't have. No intention. Um, but if these emails demonstrate that there was intent, and as you rightly point out, the timing on those emails versus when that was scrubbed is stunning. As are the revelations all, of these all FBI agents. All within a four-week period, too, in that month. Yep.
All right. More to come.